I've had a long relationship with feedback. Very often you can speak to agencies who have an idea and it's been the same idea for the last 15 years and they'll try and sell you that idea. Feedback are able to come with new ways of presenting data, new ways of presenting new ideas. And even though those ideas were complex, they were able very quickly uh, to find ways of distilling them. I've worked with a lot of video agencies in my day. When my deadlines are tight, which is often, and when there's a high standard and a high bar to reach, feedback films come in every time with creative ideas. They make my leaders feel comfortable in front of a camera. They know how to get authentic footage from employees in the business and work through the night to make sure that I can deliver a great product to my audiences. I consistently bring them with me from client to client that I work with, and I love that. Before I worked at the BBC, I ran a public policy think tank called the Runnymede Trust. Black representation in the UK is British representation in the UK. This isn't just about you. With feedback, we sought to take some of the ideas and theory about racial justice out of the ivory tower and give it to those people who most needed it in order to campaign and create change in society. Our BBC is a brand new project about how we give the organisation back to the public in such a way that they feel like they own it and can influence and improve what the BBC offers. People love in this day and age to engage and to connect with something. It just gets people thinking and, and, and it, get, it makes you see like, where's my place in the BBC? Feedback were able to distill the idea and help me present it back to the rest of the organisation in a way which they could engage critically with, but the communication didn't get in the way of the idea. <laughs> One of the things you get used to when you're an academic is that even on those rare occasions when you have a good idea, no one cares or no one hears about it. As we were doing work in the run-up to the referendum, we thought we need to do something about this. Let's make a video. Broadly speaking, there are two ways we can think about this. The first way, I call it the calculator approach, is all about costs and benefits. Does membership of the EU make me richer? Does it make my country richer? The other, we had to do a video where I basically spoke to camera. I dreaded that for days, and afterwards I was secretly hoping no one would ever watch it because I was so embarrassed. I remember when our team sat down in the office and first watched the video, get the facts that feedback had done for us. And I swear to God, we just broke out into wild applause afterwards because we were so happy. I don't know, I guess like the idea of us being together with people. I'm not laughing not against foreigners, but you can't understand them. Old people are finding it hard to understand what they're saying, and things are going wrong. Feedback taught us about what a video should be, how you get a message across, how you make it comprehensible to everyone, and how you make it slick. So we ended up being academics who could communicate to normal people, which, take it from me, is not all that common at all. Working with feedback is one of the most fulfilling experiences. We deliver things that I'm so proud of every time, and I think that just really sets feedback aside from any other agency that I've worked with. Thank you.